Yo, yo, top of the world. I mean, top of the morning world. <laughs> Man, that damn game, nerd boy. I mean, when you when you don't have two of your best players on the floor, you're going to have some mishaps. But for the most part, man, like I think we played – we played pretty decent, man, in the uh, in the first half, man. But that second half, man, we just let the game get away from us, man. Like, y'all, look, I don't know what Pop telling y'all. I don't know what the coaching staff telling y'all. But uh, for the nose, man. But here's the thing. You gotta y'all gotta learn to play man to man defense, man. And like when y'all see them three pointers out there on the damn line trying to shoot them threes when y'all left them wide open instead of manning up. Stop jumping at them, man. Like, I don't know what the fuck wrong with y'all mind frames, but you know they good shooters. You know they gonna fuck around and try to draw a foul on that shit. If you done already been out of position and you ain't manned up, why run and try to jump and block a shot? Like, motherfucker just see, like, y'all gotta run up. Don't jump. Just put your hands up. And why the fuck do y'all I never I don't know what type of defense y'all learning these days, man. I learn hard nose defense, man. When you playing a motherfucking player, man, why do y'all always play with y'all hands down here? Like, y'all should be down by y'all sides. I was always taught to play defense, one hand down, where the motherfucker dribbling, move your hand. I don't see none of y'all doing that shit. Other hand up. Like this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to move. Then when the motherfuckers wanna go wanna go the other way, put this hand up. Put this hand down. Basically what you're doing, you are forcing the, the ball carrier to pass the ball. If you own a motherfucker, man, and you playing them straight up, if that motherfucker man wanna shoot, your hands are already up. Y'all motherfuckers be doing all this shit. And, and then when the motherfucker go shoot, then y'all want to jump up. What the fuck kind of defense is that, man? I would never teach my players how to play. I mean, play no defense like that. That's terrible defense, bro. If I was y'all coach, I'd be making y'all practice with y'all hands up like this. The whole goddamn game. Yeah, until your arms get tired. Because y'all motherfuckers don't know when to put y'all arms up, man. Put your hands up, bruh. Like, what the fuck be wrong with y'all? That shit pisses me off, man. We we could have beat the Warriors. We failed on defense, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, all, we, we it's like we could score points. What what, what we score? We, I think we scored 100 points, but god damn, bruh. Y'all could have played. Y'all got to play better defense. Ain't no way them motherfuckers should have put up that many points on us, bro. Like, flat out. That's that's a defensive breakdown. And y'all fucked up on that part. Like, for real. And again, rim protector. Well, I would love to get that boy Zion Williams, man, in the Spurs uniform. But I know that shit ain't going to happen. Man, man, man. So we lost that game, which I probably, well, I, which I figured we would, you know what I'm saying? But my hopes is to win, and my hopes is always to win. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, losing ain't good, but you can learn from losing. And I hope all y'all, man, who played last night against the Warriors. 
I hope y'all learned a valuable lesson to see where y'all at when y'all don't have your two stars on the floor. Y'all was looking nervous on y'all shooting. It's like you take LaMarcus and, and, and DeRozan away. Y'all motherfuckers look out of sync, man. It's like when they in there, y'all shooting is better. You know what I'm saying? Because you, I understand you don't have LaMarcus on the floor, but man, we got to utilize, we got to utilize, utilize more players. But that, that, this game was our breaking point to now we finna start putting the uh, young players in more often because what Pop did was he was, he basically said, I'll take this loss, but I'm finna get y'all ready. And what a way to get them ready is to throw they, throw all the young guys out there. I mean, they had one start out there with Rudy Gay, but let's all be, let's all be real. Rudy Gay is not the Rudy Gay of old, but he's balling. He's not the old Rudy Gay, but he's balling, okay? So basically, we really didn't have no stars out there for real. We had all backups. <laughs> and we was hanging with the Warriors, man. But that was good. But we just let the game slip away from us defensively, man. Like, I don't care that we didn't put, we put up points. But the thing is, we let them put up more points. Man up defense, man. Stop leaving men open, trying to go help another person out, man. If that man get beat, that man get beat. You did? Everybody got to hold their own, man. But we do it as a unit. You know what I'm saying? When you see one man open, hey, make sure your boy, hey, make sure your teammate is on that dude. Like, hey, 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 get on his ass. Fuck you doing? You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to call that shit out, man. Man, dog. So, it's time to get back on track. We lost what? Two games in a row. I take that. I take that. Cause I know we're gonna get back on track. But this game last night should light a fire up on y'all ass. Y'all should look at that game and now see. This is a strategy game for Pop too. You know what I'm saying? Because he's gonna see. What he needs out there against the Warriors. That's how. That's why he did this. He said, "Let me see what I got in my younger guys. Let's take Aldridge and DeRozan off the floor. And let's roll with the young squad. We just let it slip away, man. Defensively, y'all. Defensively, we have to get better. Man up defense." Stop running that zone shit. Like, you got to stop leaving men wide, open, wide open, man. We do that shit too much. And that's what be costing us games. And y'all be letting motherfuckers in the paint too much. That's another thing that costs us a game. Costs us game. We ain't got no rim protector. So, trade line to date, I don't think we moving nobody. If we do, I'll be very surprised. But I don't think it's going to happen. So, got to look to the next, uh, to to the offseason. But I know we going to go and sign some players, man, that's, uh, that's going to help our team move forward, man. Like, we got to get some players, man, that's, more athletic out there, athletic bigs. It's starting to come become uh it's starting to become uh more imperative that we get a athletic big. We need an athletic big, man. We got one, just don't use them. But if we're not going to use him, we need to go 
and get a veteran. A veteran big that can ball, man. Because I'm, I'm just tired of seeing this get raped in the hole, man. We getting raped on the outside, raped in the hole. Like, motherfuckers is doing what they want against our D, man. I know our defense is not ranked up there high yet. We got to fix that. That's what Popovich preaches, man. And we got to execute on defense. We can score the ball. Defense, man. Brand Forbes. If you don't want to get traded, bro, I'm telling you now. When shit go wrong on the court, again, I've said this before. Like, you a man, bro. You a man. Stop putting your fucking arms down like a little boy, man. That shit don't run in the NBA, bro. Like, I see you do that shit too much. And I'm going to call you out on your shit, bro. Flat out. This shit here, uh, uh, he scored. That, that's how. That's the look that you be giving, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, when motherfuckers either call you for a foul or somebody do some shit on you, and then, like, you just sit there and look like, you put your, you drop your arms and shit, man. Fuck dropping your arms, bro. Get back, play defense, man. Like, okay, the motherfucker made something good. You can't always get amped off of making a shot, bro. You got to get amped off everything else involved with the game, man. Details, bro. Pay attention to details. Stop fucking getting caught up on uh, screens and all that shit. You, man, it's like they, they ragdolling you, bro. They ragdolling you. And a lot of players is going to take advantage of you, bro, because that's heart, dog. That has a lot to do with your heart, bro. Ain't no motherfucker. Nigga, have you ever seen Jordan, nigga, dropping this motherfucker on? Uh, uh, he scored. Fuck, he called me for foul. Like, cut that shit the fuck out. You ain't got to say it. I'm doing the saying for you because that's the expression that you're giving, bro. Every, like, I see you do that shit a whole lot, bro. Shit. Fucking allergies, man. More than allergies. But yeah, man. I see you do that shit a lot, bro. You dropping your arms and shit. See, motherfuckers can't really see me doing it, but motherfuckers, y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Just go watch the damn highlights of the shit. But they probably ain't gonna show that, but you know what I'm saying? But if you watch, man, Brent Forbes, throughout from last year to this year, you will see when he do something wrong or he miss a shot or you know what I'm saying? Or file a motherfucker. His arms drop like this. That's some shit a kid do. Like, oh, why? Why, why, why? He made a three-point over me. <laughs> like, get that shit on, man. It's time to toughen up. You in the NBA, bro. The fuck on, man, with that shit. That shit is garbage, bro. Stop doing that. Nigga, I want to see you like this. All right. Yeah. Like, all right. I see what you did. You know what I'm saying? You made a good shot on me. Cool. Now I'm finna come back and bust your ass. That's what I want to see you do, Brent. Do that shit. Not drop your shoulders and shit. Mm-hmm. That bullshit on, man. I'm finna see who the fuck this is called me, man. Might be a job or something, man. Because I sure need another one. Cause goddamn studio, some sometimes don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to run your own goddamn studio, man, it's tough. You did, you really gotta fucking make ends meet off this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm trying to find me a little day job, man. Cause sometimes the studio, I don't like, I don't want to sit and just goddamn me be in the studio all goddamn day. Like I want to make motherfucking. Extra money, you know what I'm saying? Studio money is good, but uh, nah. Nah. So hopefully I blow with this music though. Cause you know, I love music. Man, Spurs. Play better defense. <laughs> Get this shit right, man. But let me go uh call this person back, man. See who the fuck called me. And uh I'll holla at y'all next time. Till then, this your boy LA. I'm out this pee. Yes, sir. Got me, bitch. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir.
sir, bitch. Yeah.